Welcome back to Athletic Everyday, day number 314. Got a nice simple workout here, just jumps and cleans. Uh, main focus here today was one-legged takeoffs on the jumps because I'm notoriously bad at jumping off of one leg. Uh, and I would argue that if you get better at jumping off of one leg, it's going to naturally carry over to jumping off of two legs. I mean, the mechanics aren't exactly the same, but um, you know, when you do that penultimate step, you're going to elongate it whether you're doing one foot jumping or two foot jumping. It's just that you don't have a, let me get this right, you have a penultimate step, you have a plant step, and then you have a block step. Um, those are the last three steps before you take off in a two foot jump. But with one foot jumping, you don't have that last step or the block step, you just have the plant step. So you go penultimate and then plant. So I can't see why if you don't get better at jumping off of one foot, that, that won't translate into jumping off of two feet. Um, obviously the ground contact time for a one foot jumper is going to be a lot shorter because you just jump. There's only one, there's only one contact point with the ground. Um, and so it means that you have to be a little bit more elastic. You have to have a much better ability to store and release energy in the tendons, especially in the Achilles tendon, uh, but also in the patella and quadricep tendons as well. Uh, if you have, Generally, you'll find that one foot jumpers are a lot better at, they're a lot more elastic and maybe they have a much lower level of strength compared to their body weight compared to maybe a two foot jumper. This obviously isn't the same for every single person, but there are generally differences between people who are better at one foot jumping versus two foot jumping. So if you're a two foot jumper, you jump higher of two feet, you generally will be I would say more powerful, you have a higher strength to body weight ratio. Uh, not the case for every single person, but generally um, you'll find that guys or girls who are better at two foot jumping will be a lot stronger in relation to their body weight. And if you're better at one foot jumping, especially if you are a very elastic, you don't get much, you don't get into a very deep range of knee um, and hip flexion. You don't load up that much on a one foot jump and you, you tend to jump higher off of a much longer run up. You generally will be considered to be a more elastic jumper and these athletes will tend to be more, uh, they have a lower strength to body weight ratio, but they'll also be a lot faster for their body weight, if that makes sense. So they'll have, they'll have to have a much higher run up. So they'll generally tend to jump higher off of maybe a four, five, or even six step approach, as opposed to a two foot jumper like myself, who you almost won't see a difference between a three step approach and a five step approach, because I'm not that elastic, but I am relatively quite strong for my body weight. So I think in terms of my training, um, obviously just jumping in general, doing lots of jumping, getting high volumes of jumping in as much as possible is going to be uh, a useful way of improving my vertical jump. But if I work on my weaker areas, which is elastic jumping, jumping with a slightly longer approach and doing more bounding drills, which you know, you know, you know I do a lot of guys, a lot of bounding drills, a lot of jumping drills. Um, is also going to help to improve my elasticity and then hopefully also that will translate into my vertical jump. So yeah, two foot jumping is something that I'm probably better at than one foot jumping, but yeah, working on my one foot full approach is going to be something that will also carry over into my two foot vertical jump. Uh, then I moved into some cleans. Uh, I wanted to do some just one plus one, a one plus one clean complex. So a full clean followed up by a hang clean. Um, I think... I, when I first started out doing weightlifting, when I first started getting more seriously into weightlifting, my biggest goal was improving my snatch. I really wanted to get a 100 kilo snatch. That was like my main goal. Um, and so it's not to say that I didn't train clean, but I, I really focused on improving my form on the snatch. I really focused on just getting to that goal of 100 kilo snatch. And I did, you know, I've achieved that. Um, that's one of my, you know, highlights of this year of just of my training I'm, I'm really happy about that really pleased with that you know 100 kilo snatch at you know what, 85 86 maybe even 87 kilo body weight um is you know pretty impressive i'm, I'm really happy with that but now i think having a heavier clean is going to be in the crosshairs for me in the coming year well you know, we're getting towards the end of the year now that is going to be one of the, the main goals for me um i think clean especially because you can load it a lot more than the snatch and the catch in the bottom position of the clean is a lot more elastic. You're able to utilize that stretch reflex in the clean a lot more than you are in the snatch. Uh, and because you just are able to load it a lot heavier, I think for me as a strength exercise, um, it will have a lot more carryover into my jumping ability. Uh, and it's just a, um, a lot more of a powerful and strength exercise than the snatches. Um, 
because yeah purely because you can just load it a lot heavier you can load it with you know up to 70 to 80 percent of your front squat max um, for a set of one to three reps depending on how strong you are and how good you are in the technique for the clean technically my clean does need a little bit of work uh, but i think it is also just getting enough training volume training uh, history behind uh, myself in the clean but yeah these weren't feeling you know i'm not i'm definitely not my strongest in the clean at the moment but uh, my form has definitely improved over the last few months from training it with decently high frequency so yeah my goal with the clean right now is to get to 140 kilos for a single anyway that's it for me today guys thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video